guys this is why bmw camber is like this it's not going to be like this that's why i'm going to the shop tomorrow to nas fetching to install the adjustable control arms and get the whole piece so my tire will touch the ground together evenly this pretty much is not working for the bmw this is only for turns this is pretty much what's only working on the on, on, on launch mostly i mean just a little bit here but like mostly here it's like 225 personal car this baby is crazy wow has full tube front end there's like there's everything's tube and tube and then this one is made from uh, the whole front is fiberglass with the big tube on there this is so sick let's see oh now I see the tire straight oh wow oh yeah that's what's up All right, we got the rear tires, camber, wow, nice. PSI that's crazy class is pretty good Nazar thank you 1.960 foot fast as this car ever got it's getting faster low slowly if you're gonna lower the tire pressure sorry about the car it did the best 3.9 0 to 60 and I let off basically at uh, 53 miles an hour so basically I rolled there and uh, the best 60 foot is we almost cracked into 1.8 on the street without much prep i got the best uh, 1.90 so this car if i prep 60 foot right now just a little bit longer than just pulling under the tire we can get 10 second quarter mile today tonight if we can prep it a little bit longer and just do the same thing what we just did and get 1.860 foot it's a 10 high 10 second car so just want to confirm guys removing a uh, doing the alignment for the drag and getting the camber out definitely helps definitely helps whoever didn't do it you gotta do it guys really who didn't do that uh, not yet and you're trying to do this do it it's also helping a lot on a roll it's definitely gonna help you a lot on a roll because the tire is only using this much but the tire is this big so basically you're not using this much at all this is like a must for bmw guys all right guys peace out i'm out